Welcome to another week of International Coffee House video highlights. This week we provided foods originating from Russia. We took this week's coffee house outside to comply with new COVID-19 safety regulations from the university. And we are proud to serve so many people and share more about the International House with people passing by. So, what Russian snacks did we serve? The first thing we're serving is a dessert called honey cake, which is layers of sponge cake, sour cream, cocoa, and honey. It was created by a young chef way back in the day in Russia to impress an empress who really hated eating honey in any dish. Um, hopefully she liked it. We like it. It's very delicious. What is a pierogi? <laughs> Let's turn over to our student assistant, Veronica, to describe our savory dish served at this week's coffee house. Um, the pierogies, pierogies is also something that is very common in Russia. Um, they can be, they look like dumplings, but they can be stuffed with many different varieties. Uh, for an example, it can be stuffed with spinach and feta cheese, uh, sweet cheese, and sometimes like certain kinds of meat, such as veal. And pierogies are usually uh, served with sour cream on the side as well. Wow. We'll continue to talk to Veronica about some aspects of Russian culture. Next, she'll describe how Russian culture influenced her upbringing in the United States. Yeah, so uh, my mom is from Russia. She was born in Germany, but grew up in Russia and Latvia. So uh, while we live in the United States, the rest of our family uh, still lives in Russia and Germany, uh, spread out all over the place. Um, uh, tradition is like very important in our family. Um, even when we're miles and miles apart, we still try to like celebrate Christmas together uh, through like Skype calls and like birthdays. We have like birthday dinners that we just have like the rest of our family members um, sitting like on Skype. Tell us about the significance of coffee or tea in your culture. Chai tea is very common in Russia. Uh, we often drink it with some lemon and honey in it. Uh, we drink it with almost every meal, more commonly with breakfast and after dinner with some dessert. Traditionally, it used to be made with a device called a samovar. It, it was just a device that we used to uh, uh, put the water and the tea inside for it to boil and be served. Uh, this was used before like gas stoves. Uh, became popular. So in Russia, um, we don't like to drink uh, cold drinks. Uh, so uh, here in America, we have like iced tea. Um, Russia, like iced tea was, my mom has never heard of it until she came here. Describe a traditional meal served within your culture. Um, basically how it works in Russia and many other like European countries since so Germany because we're Russian and German. Um, uh, when we have guests come over for dinner, there's always like an appetizer laid out. Uh, this usually consists of like sliced meat with some bread. Um, then when dinner time comes, um, there's usually made up of like three main components. It's uh, like the main dish, which is always something meat related. Uh, for an example, like we always have rouladen. It's my personal favorite. Um, then we always have like a variety of salads. The whole table just like has to be covered with like salads such as carrot salad, just regular like lettuce, vegetable salad, and um, another main component is potatoes. We always have um, either like mashed potatoes, there's like small baby potatoes, or just like regular boiled potatoes uh, to eat with your meal. How do people gather in community in your culture? Since we are living in Knoxville, Tennessee, uh, the only time we could really gather around is like dinner time. Uh, usually we have guests come over at like 4 p.m. and sometimes they don't even leave till like late, like one or two, just because um, it's a communal, we talk and talk uh, with food. It's, it's a great like bonding time that we do with our guests that you know. What makes you feel connected to your culture at UTK? I feel more connected to my culture when I have the opportunity to uh, express my culture. Uh, for instance, like Coffee House, I was able to like give examples of like a variety of like common Russian foods, and I'm able to have people like experience Russian food and like explain to them like how we serve it, like this is how we eat it, uh, where we eat it, how we eat it, like when we eat it, and that's how I feel more connected to my culture. Uh, just because I'm able to express it to other people and let them 
experience it. 